If you're an Ableton Worship Keys player, there's few sounds that you're gonna find more useful than an overcompressed or smashed piano sound. A smashed piano sound is super popular in modern worship. It's all over modern worship songs. And in this video, you're gonna learn how to create this for yourself in any version of Ableton Live. Let me show you how. All right, folks, so whenever possible, we try to do these tutorials in such a way that you can apply the knowledge in them to any version of Ableton that you own. And that's true of this tutorial. You're gonna be able to follow along and implement this technique in Ableton 9 or 10, intro, standard, or suite. So whichever version you have, you can make the most of it and follow along through this tutorial. So to start off with, we're just going to select a MIDI track. You can do this in whatever set in Ableton you're working in. If you have our Sunday Keys template, you've got something of your own. You just need a MIDI track. And we're gonna drag in an empty instrument rack. Next, we're gonna go up here to sounds and navigate to the Grand Piano preset. You're gonna have this Grand Piano instrument in any version of Ableton Live that I mentioned up just a second ago. Now click and drag this Grand Piano within this blank instrument rack that we created. And it sounds like this. Going to go ahead and minimize the piano because we're not going to be doing anything within the nested instrument rack. Next we're going to go over to audio effects and click and drag the compressor plugin. Now I'm shooting this tutorial in Ableton 9 standard so if you're an intro you might not see all of these audio effects that I have but you will have the compressor plugin. So that's what we're going to need to do this smashed or compressed piano effect. Click and drag the compressor within that uh, master instrument rack after the grand piano. It's gonna open up like this. So right out of the gate, this is how it sounds. Now, if you're not familiar with this smashed piano sound, it's really popular on a lot of modern worship music. And what it does is it sort of flattens out and squashes the dynamic range of the piano. It gives you a bunch of sustain and this really smooth, sort of thick piano sound. It's really excellent for lead piano sounds, and it's also really great when you're just holding out chords at the beginning of a song. Because you get all that extra sustain, it's just a really smooth sound. So there's some settings within the compressor plugin we need to adjust to really hyper compress this piano. So we're gonna start by dialing up the ratio. Somewhere around six to one is usually a good place to start. If you're using your own piano plugin, then you might have to adjust all of these settings based off of the volume of that piano. And it really just depends on how prominent you want this effect to be. Next, we're gonna increase the attack to about 20 milliseconds. And then we want to increase the release substantially, depending on how exaggerated you want this effect to be. Somewhere between 200 and 500 milliseconds is a good place to start, and then you can adjust it to taste. Just know that longer release times equals even more sustain and even more exaggerated compression effect. So we're gonna start right around 300. Now this is how it sounds. There's not really a big difference between this and the original sound. And that's because the threshold of the compressor defaults to a high value of zero decibels. So that means only uh, signals or volumes above zero decibels are actually gonna be compressed by uh, the compressor plugin. So we need to reduce the threshold pretty drastically. Now you need to be careful when you're bringing this threshold down because it can make things pretty loud. So I recommend starting by bringing the output down a little bit as well until you've dialed in the right effect and then you can increase the output volume. You just don't want to risk blowing out your speakers or hurting your ears. So bring that output volume down. We've got the threshold down here at negative 26. Go down to negative 35. And right here, this meter in the middle, labeled GR, that, stand, that stands for gain reduction. And so we can see the amount of compression that's being applied to the piano signal. So now that we've got 
that gain reduction happening, we can start to creep up the output volume again. So we can really hear how the piano sound is being affected. So I've got all of this extra nice juicy sustain on this piano because of that extra compression. So I'll turn the compressor off so you can compare. And with it on. So like I said, this is really great for just holding out notes with lots of sustain, lots of warmth. So if you're just diamonding chords. Now this sound isn't perfect for every song, right? You lose a bunch of dynamic range when you smash and hyper compress this piano. So if you want to have a lot of dynamic uh, volume difference between soft playing and playing dynamically, playing loud, then you probably don't want a hyper compressed piano for that specific scenario. But if you really want this iconic smashed sound, this is how you can get it. And it works really well for lead piano sounds as well because it adds extra attack when that initial compressor closes in on the sound, it sort of squashes that attack. So once you've got the compressor sort of dialed in and you feel that that squashy thing is happening to the piano, then you can blend in a little bit of the original unprocessed signal via this dry, wet knob in the bottom right corner of the plugin. Now, if you really want it, that smash sound to be all you hear, then you might go with 100% wet, but I find that generally a little bit of a blend, some of that original signal helps to have a little bit more of a realistic response. So this is what it sounds like with a little bit of the dry signal in. time for comparison, here's the original unprocessed piano. Now if you're after this smashed piano sound and you want something that's done for you, then our number one resource for Ableton Worship Keys players is Sunday Keys for Ableton. It's got ready to play worship piano sounds that give you the option to apply this smashed piano effect at will. So we've got this worship piano sound. And then down here in the rack, I actually have this knob labeled smash. So if I bring that knob down to zero, then I have a nice dynamic piano sound. And as I crank up this smash macro, then it increases the amount of that squashy compression on the piano. And then I've got great worship pads and other go-to worship sounds that I can bring in at will and layer with this worship piano. Now folks, leave a comment and let me know if you plan to use this technique on your piano sounds, or if you have any questions about applying it in a live context. I'll also include links in the description to our other Ableton Worship Keys resources, including some free Ableton Worship patches and our done for you Ableton Keys template, Sunday Keys for Ableton. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our next video, and have a great day.